Musangwei is not for the faint-hearted, but there's a family-friendly atmosphere here at the King of the Vendor People's annual fun walk and fight day. Stephen is one of the champs. More than 180 centimetres tall, he cuts an imposing figure when he rises, along with other hopefuls, to challenge a man by holding his fist out. He's a crowd favourite and a bit of a showman who dwarfs most of the other competitors. This is our culture. We have to do Musangwe to show our culture. I like fighting. It is my thing. The forefathers of the Vendor King started this tradition in the 1800s as a way for young men to prove their valour. It's part of our culture, but the most important element about it is about self-discipline and strength. And, and this is uh, symbolic of the resilience of the people of the Vendor Kingdom. The rules are simple. You can't kick or punch an opponent below the belt. You can use your knees and throw in the towel whenever you like. A fight is over if there's any sign of blood. Normally women aren't allowed to watch, let alone take part, but this event is special. Nancy is one of the few women who loves Musangwe. But today there aren't any female opponents, and although she's happy to fight men, none of them is keen, so she spars for practice. It's very, very, very much important. I want to, I want the, the king to know me someday, they will say, ah, this girl make us proud because she was the only girl in the fight. Tusi first saw Musangwe fighting when he was 11 years old. Now other youngsters hope to one day emulate him. He's another fighter with flair who says this is not about violence. When you see us playing Musangwe, don't think we are thugs and criminals. We're all good people. This is just playing. It's not serious. He's proud to perform for his king, who watches over a tradition that's still strong and evolving to include women in a modern world. Tania Page, Al Jazeera, Venda, South Africa.